In this video we're going to be checking for Drupal standard code practices with PHP code sniffer. In this example we are using the Drupal Composer project, so we have Drupal Coder there pre-installed. But if we don't have it, we could simply install it with Composer required Drupal Coder, as the Drupal Coder actually has dependency to PHP code sniffer and also contains the Drupal standards. We're going to also add a PHP CS XML file with some essential settings so that we don't have to run the PHP CS every time with 100 parameters. And we're going to actually run PHP code sniffer with some smelly code examples. So here we have our Drupal project and we already have the Drupal coder installed composer install just to make sure everything is downloaded and as we have the coder project we also have the PHP CS so if we just run like this from the vendor folder vendor bin PHP CS we have and we could simply say web modules custom and we see here a bunch of errors but it's not necessarily exactly the Drupal practices errors so in order to activate the Drupal practices we would basically add a PHP CS XML file so that we make sure that we are checking just for the Drupal practices. So here in this GitHub repo, I actually added a example for the PHP CS XML file. So I'm going to simply copy it and jump to the code base and create the file hpcs.xml and I'm going to simply also copy the content and we're going to quickly go through the content of this hpcs.xml file and all it's doing it's actually having a nice description and it also sets which standards we're going to be running on our code. So of course we want the Drupal and the Drupal practice standards. And we're saying here the installed paths for these standards is vendor Drupal coder code sniffer. As we have the Drupal coder project, we actually have under vendor and then Drupal coder, we have here under code sniffer we actually have the two Drupal practices and afterwards we're saying like we're ignoring some files and we're saying also where we want to check for Drupal code standards of course we just want to check in our custom folders like the modules custom and the teams custom because we don't really want to check the contributed modules and if we want to we could simply change it here if you want to contribute some changes some fixes with the Drupal code standards so we save this and actually if we run again the PHP code sniffer as so this time we don't really have to specify the folder because it's all set up here in the PHP CS XML file and if we just run the PHP code sniffer now it says that the web teams custom does not exist so we'll just simply add the teams custom obviously in this example i don't have the custom folder for the teams i just have teams 
and let's go ahead and create custom and if we run it again we see that now we have actually six errors so less than here actually most of the code is good but we're seeing here exact errors that we have in our dummy module I actually created this Drupal up PHP CS wrong module and I created there a block plugin and I added some errors there of course in order to be able to test otherwise the PHP code sniffer was just going to say that everything is fine so in order to fix them here I'm seeing exactly in this file there are these warnings and errors so if I want to fix this for example on line 5 there must be no blank line following the inline command so if I just go there in modules custom module and then in the I actually see that on line 5 so this body we could simply comment out because we're using the block base like this and if we now run it again we see there are less errors so one by one we could simply go and fix them and in some of the next videos I would also show you the PHP CBF which could automatically fix some errors in the comments below I would also add the link to the github repo if you like this video please check the links in the description like subscribe comment if you have any questions for this video and thanks for watching